7.30, first time talking to the camera today. It's not good, not good at all. But I do have a package though that I'm really excited about. Insanely excited. Wait, how does it go? It's not spring loaded, I can't do it as good. I'm insanely excited about this. I really wanted to get the 128 version, but ooh, it was uh, $81. I didn't buy this, and I didn't buy the battery. This is all on the company. Because I got a third battery, that means more footage would be taken. I needed a bigger card. And plus, I only had the one 32 gig SD card that can handle 4K really good. And that's not good because if that got full or I forgot it, then I'd have to use other ones and it, it would always complain about it. Not anymore. This thing is supposed to be ridiculous. This is kind of what I was trying to show you guys yesterday and I missed it. It was an amazing shot looking down the middle of this road with the sun going right past the horizon. It's still a little high to see what exactly I was trying to show you, but oh, what an amazing shot. Just testing out the SD card, seeing how, how well it writes. Well, 64 gig, we're looking at about 85 minutes worth of video. It's not bad. The other one was, um, 32 gig, we only got like 30 minutes or so. Another reason why I didn't get, another reason why I didn't get the 128 is because it was at like one to two months before it would be shipped. Samsung, what, what the heck, dude? I can't wait one to two months, so that's another reason why. I actually probably would have gotten the 128 gig if it wasn't for the one to two month shipping thing. But I don't know where else to get them besides Amazon. I need to get better at that. Alright, so I'm going to see how fast this card transfers to the computer. Samsung Pro. USB 3.0 port that's on there. This is, this reader is USB 3.0. And it's going to be writing to a Samsung SSD 950 Pro. bad at all considering the other card is like 11 to 12 megabits per second megabytes per second not bad got to get some stuff for the for filming tomorrow I need my hard hat and my insanely large vest found it this jacket isn't, I mean, this vest isn't too bad. I definitely could really use a small. If it is universal that the place is going to be at, they are insanely strict about safety, which you really should be. When you're lifting really big stuff, even though if you would have dropped something that big on your head, it doesn't matter that you have a hard hat on or not. But safety first, insanely important. So... You gotta stick out like a sore thumb so people can see you. But this jacket is a little big though, it's kind of annoying. It's not huge, it's not bad. I think a small would suffice, just a lot better, but 
you work with what you got. Now, when I was at when I was at the golf course today, I didn't really film. I shot one time lapse, and that's just because we had time to. Um, when we came off the ninth hole, we had to turn around. We had to stop at the shop and pay because the guy was late this morning. But I didn't really film, and I didn't film because one, I've had a lot of golf stuff in one week, and it was getting kind of boring to me. So I didn't really want to. Not me playing was boring. But I think the shots, they were getting a little overloaded with the golfing and the drone footage of just the golf course over top. I've been doing a lot of that lately. I just didn't, I just didn't want to do that. And plus, I was playing really good. I shot in the 80s, which is really good for me. And I just, I didn't want to take any of my brain power to think about filming and angles. and I just wanted to focus on my round and play some golf. It's the last day of spring break, and I really wanted to enjoy it, and the way I enjoyed it was by playing golf early in the morning and sleeping the rest of the day. That's kind of what hurt, not really hurt me, but that's kind of what has lacked. The footage that I have is mainly because I slept for the rest of the day. I fell asleep on the way home. As soon as I got home, I knocked out one little thing, and then I slept until almost 7 o'clock. And then I got to edit the vlog and I got to go to bed pretty early because I'm waking up at about 4 a.m. Which I normally don't go to bed until about 2 a.m. The math, it just doesn't add up. I only got about three and a half hours of sleep last night and now I'm, I'm heading in the proper direction to only getting another two to three hours of sleep. I believe everyone recalls when I said that these were out of stock or it took one to two months to ship. They have now decided that they will put them in stock and that they'll ship right away. Darn it! Shower time.